हेलो एंड वेलकम टू स्टडी विद सुधीर योर डिजिटल क्लासरूम क्लास नाइन बायोलॉजी एग्जाम टाइम एंड वी जस्ट हियर टू गिव यू सम लास्ट मिनट टिप्स गोइंग थ्रू द चैप्टर वाइज सिलेबस जस्ट टू टेल यू व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड व्हाट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट हियर अगेन 80 मार्क्स पेपर 40 मार्क्स इन सेक्शन ए फोर्टी मार्क्स इन सेक्शन बी सेक्शन ए एज यूजल एज इज द केस विद मोस्ट सब्जेक्ट इज कंपल्सरी सेक्शन बी is you, where you have to answer four out of six questions so you do have a choice section a is largely objective type short answer types yes, right and yeah. uh, section b is the longer format longer and format. Uh, where you have a choice in biology most important thing practice your diagrams very very important whatever diagrams you get to draw ensure that you draw them in a neat yes. manner if your handwriting if your drawing skills aren't really great ensure that you practice them that much more okay and diagrams draw with a pencil yeah. for uh, uh, for it to be neat and sharp neat. pencil yeah. uh, ensure that you always have at least 2 to 3 sharpened pencils before you go into the examination hall okay okay so the first chapter is basic biology that uh, involves you know cells and tissues so here now cell uh, you'll have to know the different organelles that are present in the cell and the functions of different organelles because that can come as you know in section a where they ask you, you know write the functions of the following so there uh, uh, this has a very uh, good chance of coming also uh, they may ask you to draw either a plant cell or an animal cell or they may ask you to label a diagram given by them where they you know they will mark out one two three mm. and in your answer script you don't need to draw the diagram again but you need to say okay one is this organel two is this organ uh, you know like that so, so identification is important yeah, the so thoroughness go, is what they are testing exactly so go through every diagram in your uh, textbook well um, the plant cell and animal cell try to uh, you know practice those diagrams because they have a good chance of coming uh you know by saying that okay fine draw this diagram while you're drawing the diagram draw the diagram neatly and remember to label the diagram very well because labeling actually carries lot of marks yeah um then uh, then you have the tissues, tissues. as well that a uh, plant and the animal tissues again uh, again here as you know in section a even in section b location is asked so, you know location of different tissues suppose meristematic tissue what's the location of that tissue again needs to be learned also the function of the tissue that's you know location function structure those are the three aspects which you need to be focusing on okay next you have these flowering plants you have the uh, vegetative propagation here again i would suggest because it's a lot of theory learn it in points because points actually help you to present the answer better in the examination also helps you to remember it better by saying Rata, if, don't try to mug it up because mugging up always runs the risk of you forgetting it later exactly if you try to associate it with something or you make some kind of clever codes for each of them and yes. learn it in points you will be able to kind of link it by better in the exactly. examination hall mugging up it's a bit of a risk is what i feel exactly. especially for students who are not good at mugging up yeah so artificial methods advantages disadvantages if this very often in section b they may say okay fine give three advantages of uh, you know say vegetative propagation so you know you need to write it in points because that is a better way of presenting it also to the examination so a three mark question you need to write what three points very yeah, clearly yeah three marks question three points if possible a fourth point uh that will ensure in separate the paragraphs yeah leave a line in between so that it's very clear, clear and distinct yeah exactly yeah and um, then you have you know uh, uh, uh you should have a brief idea of biotechnology because that can come as a separate question and um, yeah so that's how uh, that's what uh, that is about and then you have flower flower again is a question uh, is a, a chapter where a diagram may be asked the uh, you may be asked to draw a diagram or you may be asked to label so go through the diagram that is present in your textbook well because it's actually the same diagram that comes in your question paper and it's the same diagram which you need to draw as well maybe a simplified version of the diagram given in the textbook but don't leave out any details that are given in the textbook and remember to label as i already said previously yeah and uh, again uh, then we pollination do... self pollination and cross pollination advantages and disadvantages a lot of your syllabus is just based on you know remembering uh, exp, uh, you know what is the definition advantages disadvantages and again agents of pollinations so all this i would suggest you write it in points because that will uh, be much better then again fertilization is also the same thing then you have plant physiology here plant physiology again the structure of a dicot and a monocot seed again can be something that they may ask uh, a diagram uh, for drawing or labeling so again uh, go through the diagram well also experiments experiments is very important 
uh, very often in section B, what they do is that they give you the diagram of the experiment that's given in the textbook, and then there'll be five questions uh, or three uh, questions based on the experiment. They may say what is what is what are they trying to prove through this experiment? What is the uh, you know apparatus used or whatever whatever is the, uh, the experiment? Mm -hmm. They'll ask questions based on that. So go through these diagrams that are given in your textbook really well don't neglect experiments because experiments uh, most likely comes in section b and it's a very important part yeah. again uh, respiration and plants uh, the you'll have to know a general idea of the process and uh, mentioning the terms such as glycolysis and the krebs cycle and their significance is another important thing that you'll have to learn then again ecosystems i think that's a pretty easy chapter it's uh, you must have learned some of this in your lower classes as well about uh, you know biotic and abiotic and food chain food chain is another important part you'll have to know that you know okay fine producers and you know the different terms involved i would suggest suppose they give you a long answer on the food chain uh, draw a food chain also give examples uh, that okay fine producers are plants you know supplement your answer with examples Again, uh, the five kingdom classification. Many people find this tough. Again, as he said, try to use codes to remember the different, uh, you know, the different kingdoms and the different phylums and all that. Also, spellings here play a very important role. You will have you to. You can't get the spellings wrong. Exactly because uh, uh, spe uh, you know they are pretty complicated spellings, but you'll have to practice them several times. Write and practice so that you remember that properly. Also, with again. Uh, which animal belongs to which uh, phylum, which uh, organism belongs to which kingdom is again uh, something which you will have to remember. Again, uh, bacteria and you know, again, as I told you, it's all about, uh, it's a lot of theory. Try to understand it and try to learn it, bring it within you. Then uh, nutrition. Nutrition, a very important question that is asked is a balanced diet. Hmm. So uh, you should know what's a balanced diet uh, and uh, you have carbohydrates, proteins. You'll have to know what are the functions and uh, suppose you have these carbohydrates, what is happens to your body because you have them. Also examples like proteins, pulses, you know, you'll have to know the food items that, uh, that uh, can, uh, because of which you'll have more of these proteins in your body like that, okay. Then truth, another uh, place where diagram is important. Where, uh, that is, you may be asked to label, uh, they may give you a diagram of the truth and ask you to label or they may ask you to even draw a truth. So that's again um, something which you'll have to practice the diagrams pretty well. Also the functions of the different parts again is uh, you'll have to learn. Digestive system, um, location and functions is uh, a very uh, likely question that may come in digestive system they may ask you the location of a, a particular uh, you know uh, uh, organ etc mm. then again uh, movement in locomotion is again very easy the types of joint you know movable immovable etc uh, that again the parts is uh, something which you will have to uh, um, you know learn then again skin again um, diagram of the skin is a very complicated one that's given in your textbook labeling labeling uh, the diagram of the skin is uh, something very important please learn that well again respiratory system again location and function is important health and hygiene is a very general chapter uh, you know about uh, the uh, the diseases and the uh, what's the virus parasites and uh, hygiene the uh, uh, important question that is asked is what is you know what what are the steps that have to be taken at a personal level or at a society level so that you can maintain health and hygiene in your society mm. so that is something you'll have to ponder on you'll have to you know uh, think of points that you'll have to you'll say and it would probably be better that if you have such questions what she's mentioning beforehand you prepare, exactly don't Think There's a possibility the of a general question coming about how you can uh, maintain uh, from your side, how can you maintain the uh, health and hygiene in the yeah. society today. Yeah. And again, waste generation and management is a similar chapter. It's about, you know, uh, sources of waste. Such a chapter is also present in... Uh, it's also there, part of the 10th class syllabus. 10th class syllabus in geography. So, you know, about the safe disposal of waste, whether it is, you know, radioactive waste or, you know, sewage, etc. Hmm. Again, it's a very general chapter, which you will have to, you know, a general question can come about what you can do as an individual to, uh, you know, uh, you can talk about the, you know, green and the blue dustbins, etc. You know, you, uh, you'll have to think about it 
beforehand one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that this i mean with this the examination comes to an end so don't mess up with the last examination just because you'll be excited about vacations uh, holidays after the biology exam exactly. so ensure that you do uh, the last one as well as you have done all the previous papers so also so so, so ensure then, the same amount of seriousness have the same yeah. serious approach and uh, to you know just sum it up the important things in biology is uh, writing in points uh, learning all the diagrams uh, well uh, whether it's a skin or the tooth or the you know in uh, botany whether it is flower or you know the cell or the seed learning those diagrams well also all the experiments don't skip the experiment please read the experiment understand the experiment why this is being done understand that also the diagrams that are present in the experiment uh, you know go through that well so that you are able to identify the experiment based on the diagram that is given in your question paper mm -hmm. and um, location and function is another thing which is important and uh, again time management section a section b uh, i would say since it's a two hours paper about 45 minutes for section a 45 to 50 minutes and section b uh, uh, about uh, uh, you know one Another hour, hour or so hour or leaving so, about 10 minutes for the revision 10 minutes for revision at least it's a buffer time in case if you go a little over time in section a you yes. have the 10 minute buffer but ensure that you just go through uh, the entire paper in the last 5 to 10 minutes so that you can just see that you have not missed out any labeling whether anything needs to be underlined or boxed just to highlight it better for the examiner also, to see. Uh, uh, like we talked about the chemistry examination, here also in biology you have many sub bits. So, you know, ensure that you write the bits very clearly, try to leave a line or underline the question number so that you don't, so that, uh, you don't miss out on the question number or you don't write the wrong question number. So, you know, make sure you do those things very systematically because, uh, you know, something like that should not... Uh, uh, you result know, in you losing marks exactly yeah right so all the best to you may you do well stay focused and do a fine biology paper okay thank you very much for watching thank you